As long as every party involved knows it's all in good fun and boundaries are respected, I am all for roasting each other. <laughs> ah, yes, the roast. You could smell the fried chicken dinner. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's see. Brom. There's nothing stopping them from killing Brom. Or Zyhar, holy shit. I need to give Vulnerius for everybody. Oh, Jill has a Vulnery. Great. Give me Vulnery, please. Oh, Zyhar has a Vulnery, even better. Everyone else is good in good experience except for Braum. I'm actually gonna move Ike here to help protect Braum a little better. But this could go bad. Girl Child Productions. I'm sorry, sir, but do I know you? Another one of Shiloh's friends? Possibly? Welcome to chat. I trust her with my life, but also watch my back around her. More like broom. Hello, welcome in. Welcome in indeed. Hey everybody, how are you all? I am doing uh, painfully. I've already lost Nafini and um, uh, uh, Rolf today. It's, it, it's, it's not great. Oh, hello. This isn't a gang up on Kieran time, is it? Please say no. Oh, no, I don't like that very much. This is not a gang up on Kieran moment, please. Okay. Oh, okay. Angry meatball intoxicated. I really love that for you. Cheers. I think, I think it's my losses is what's caused the intoxication, if I'm honest. So I'm sorry. Um, so Nafini, there was nothing I could do, but I just got kind of unlucky and in the wrong place at the wrong time is the best way I could put it. Um, Boyd, we lost a few streams ago. Um, chapter eight, I believe. Um, I just made a really shitty decision on him. And Rolf actually died just now on this chapter where it said that he was covered and he would not be attacked and that I was foolishly lied to by the game and then he got killed so yeah rng jesus has it out for green hairs pretty much uh the blue hair well the green with the blue head also doesn't work out sure is red haired since he lived yeah right he has that extra little uh armor to him all right let's use jill to kill her him she's a wyvern rider How do you miss? How do you figure? What was that percentage? What was that percentage? Ugh. All right, it's fine. Use our mage, maybe? 65. Shiloh. That sentence didn't end how it expected to end. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it the whole thing that uh, usually the whole joke is gingers don't have souls or redheads don't have souls? Where exactly have they found their souls then? Oh god, Brom. Oh, I can't access the convoy. Chip Chapper! 
Proshi is secretly keeping Kirin alive because of his red hair, possibly. Why aren't we using Soren? We were last chapter, Soren just didn't appear, and then I realized, like, when I started the chapter, that he's just not here. I know he would have been an amazing choice, but. Ugh. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> not used to fighting on confined decks, I'm not human. Funny. But I don't feel confined at all. Without wings, you're nothing but food for crows. Don't get ahead of yourself. Chip Gamma! Honestly, I don't even know what's going on now in this run. What chapter is this? 12. We're running out of people with green hair to kill at this point. Yeah. What color is it going to be next? Honestly. I really don't like these hit percentages. I suggest blue. Oh god, not blue. Oh, I'm fallen. Are the ships on the Astro Chapter horizontal? We're sick of battleships here. You sunk my battleship! <laughs> Too far, Sora does hate Lagoos. He could have driven to a furry, but he could have just barricaded himself and said, Alright, have fun. I'm not concerned. Do not care. Ugh. I really don't like Brom there. There's a Vulnery. She does. Items. We're gonna trade with you. Give me Vulnery. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Drink Vulnery. Mmm. Very unwise to do that, actually. Okay, so the target's are pretty simple. Another one? Is this an Iron Man? I guess. It's not like I'm resetting the whole game, but I would consider it an Iron Man. <laughs> I only died once. <laughs> so. <laughs> so no grand resets. Oh, hmm. uh, did I miss the discussion on how to pronounce Reese? How do you pronounce Reese? Reese. <laughs> That's how I pronounce Reese. We're just on a pronunciation combo today, aren't we? Stop trying to make yourself hack. <laughs> Relax, man. Jesus. Of course they went up to Zyark. Okay, um... Now that... What? <laughs> You did that to yourself. When was the last time you played this game? This is my first time. Shiloh, I say wrists. Like, wrist. Shiloh, please no. Please tell me that's a lie. Oh, wrists. Aaron Turtle 1 played this game like a week ago. Oh, damn. I didn't know this was a blind playthrough. That's pretty dope. Right? I figured it'd be fun. Um, so Zearch is kind of trapped. Let's get Kieran in that bad butt. It is not in his room. I mean, it is spelled Reese and not Reese after all. Yes, 
But Reese. It's like like you're you're dodging the Y there. You know? It's Welsh, I think, name, and they pronounce it Rhys, as in Rhys. No! I don't believe that. Um... Yes. Rhys, Rhysies, Rhys, Rhys, Rhysies, Pieces. Can, can, we, can we just do a quick Google on this, then? How to pronounce Reese? Um, The phonetic spelling of Reese is Rees. It is a Welsh name. Reese. 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 All the robots are in agreement. It's Reese. We Google it. That's how we know it's Welsh and pronounced like Reese. It is not Reese. <laughs> it is Reese. You heard all the robots. Oh, I had to set my drink down and read that one, <laughs> I is not E. Look at the Welsh also spelled Griffith, Griffid, when... When did we take their advice on linguistics? Robots are always correct. Yes, they are. That's why I played the robots. It's always nice to cause chaos. Is it not? It's amazing. How's Jill? What's y'all's favorite FE title? That I've played Three Houses or uh, Fates, which is kind of weird because I know a lot of people don't like it, but Conquest is my favorite game. So I see was listening to you just a few moments ago when you heard <laughs> dialogue in this game. Radiant Dawn. So we got a lot of Radiant Dawn lovers. I'm really excited to see. You said the main character was named like Micaiah, Micaiah, something like that? Sacred stones are three houses. I think those are good picks. Full health, half health. Uh, in fact, goodbye. Hello. Darkness, my old friend. That's fine. She <laughs> said Micaiah right the first time. Also rests forever. No! I refuse. It is Reese. Just like how it is Shine On, or how it is, uh, 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 what's his name? I need to remember these names. Uh, Zyhark. Or Leth, not Lethe. Maybe that is because the English is a busted language, because we ignored the Welsh. 
Possibly. Possibly. Alright. Well, everybody is finally dead. But, uh, we lost Rolf. That's a very sad time. Is everybody alright? I'll check on injuries. Those crows make fierce opponents. I no thank, they killed a child. Nazir, how's the ship? Completely immobilized. We can't shake free of this reef. I feel useless just waiting around here. Is there, there has to be something I can do to... Hey, Ike, where are you going? Should you be leaving the ship? Nothing's getting done sitting around here. I just want to go ashore and see what I see. What? Hold on, Ike. You can't, that's... Ah, Ike, behind you! You there, what are you doing? Huh? This could be trouble. Oh, How long until the stream is presented entirely in Swahili? Uh, the moment when I learned Swahili, Meatball. <laughs> this is Goldian. Goldoian. Territory. Outsiders are not permitted. No, wait. You don't understand. Our ship is run aground. There's nothing we can do. We're stuck here. Then return to your ship. What happens to the Bjork is none of our affair. That's ridiculous. You're a complete... You've been warned. You'll not be warned a second time. Hey! Cease this at once. What do you think you're doing? Sorry, I'll check on injuries. Oh, there's a small dead child on the ship. Yeah. My, my lord prince. Man of the Bjork. My countrymen were discourteous. I ask that you forgive them. Who are you? I am Krasnaga, Prince of Goldoa. The prince? Now we're getting somewhere. Thanks to some Kilvas pirates, our ships run aground, and we lost a child. Can you lend us any help? What is it? Can't help, can you? I'm not used to being addressed in such a direct manner. I was taken off guard. My apologies. No, I didn't. If anyone should apologize here, it's me. My father had a great deal to say about my lack of etiquette. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Fun fact, as a child, I was able to speak Swahili, but that is long gone. Really, Frosh? That's awesome. You absolutely have to use Oscar now. Aw, oh, okay. Is chat forcing me to use Oscar until he dies? <laughs> Please, play it no mind. I am more concerned with the misfortune your journey has been. <coughs> of late, the ravens have grown ever more barbarous, and this cannot stand. My father will lodge a formal protest with Kilvis, I assure you. In the meantime, we shall help you with your ship. Gareth, direct your others to push their ship free. At once! This is awesome. Oscar should never should swear off violence for the rest of his life. Yeah, I feel like that's what it should be. Dragons! They're all dragons! They're huge! It's so strong! It's incredible! It's overwhelming! Yeah, it, it is. Goldoa is the land of dragons. More than any other Lucas tribe, blah blah blah, longevity, something. I've heard tales of Goldoa still living, who flew the skies when the goddess herself still walked the land. Or you could go on a homicidal rampage. That too! There's always that option. How much is it that you know so much about Goldoa? Everything I've learned comes from books. Goldoa itself no longer has any contact with the outside world. Seeing them now, it's like a dream. So this is good fortune. Is that what you're saying? Saying... She's saying we got lucky. For once, your recklessness actually got us out of trouble. What's that supposed to mean? We have moved your ship safely without harm to you or your vessel. My subjects tell me your ship was indeed lodged against a reef. However, there was no structural damage to your ship. You need not interrupt your journey. That's good news, thank you. Is there anything else you require? If you need food, fresh water, we could replenish your supplies. That'd be most appreciated. We are beginning to low run, run low on water. As for food, any fruit, meat, fish, anything fresh would be wonderful. It shall be done. 
Gareth, will you see to it? Yes, at once. I know that Godola does not engage in trade with other nations, but you will accept gold in payment? Do not worry about payment. But you've done so much for us when you could have left us to die out there. We must repay you somehow. Sweet courtesy is ever the herald of hospitality. Will this suffice to explain my actions? Hospitality? Isn't that for guests? As you know, Godola Godo prefers isolation. We rarely see foreigners, especially Bjork, and even more rarely do we treat with them. Chance has brought us together, and I am grateful for this opportunity. In fact, I wish we could feast a while and converse. However, my father would not allow it. You can't ex expect us to accept a gift. A ge so generous a gift. But I do. I insist that you consider it a personal gift from Goldo's prince. However, I made you if I made you uncomfortable, so if you feel you must decline... No, of course not. We will have, be happy to accept your gift. We appreciate it. I'm so pleased you understand. Ike, Captain Nazir wants to depart as soon as possible. Understood. Well, then I beg your leave. Prince Kithanaga, I won't forget your kindness. Thank you. Let's see. Level cat, make him broken in our radiant dawn. <laughs> we were on vacation in Kenya for over four weeks, and I was four years old, so naturally I picked up the language pretty fast. Granted, I wasn't able to carry a full-fledged discussion, but I was able to converse with the, all the staff at the hotel and with the people we met on the places we live. No way at four years old, really? It's crazy. Texas has culture? <laughs> yeah, racism. <laughs> Jesus. It was my pleasure. Take care. Farewell, Bjork. May your journey safe. A friendly Lagoose. That's all we want. My Lord Ike is something it is. First, those ravens attacked us. And then a band of Goldoan dragons rescue us. I can't understand how they all are all considered the goose. Is that strange? No, I see what you're saying. Just as them are both good and evil Bjork, there must be good and evil Lagoos as well. But they are so distinct in appearance, it is tempting to assume each race is as a whole intrinsically good or evil. Aye, that it is. The beast tribes of Galia and the dragons of Goldoa seem so honorable. And the birds of Kilvis and Phenesis seem so cruel. It seems so easy to reduce them all to good and evil. I'm sure it can't be as simple as that. Look at us, Bjork. Danes are evil and Crimeans are not. It's as simple as that. Well, wait. There were both those prejudiced fools we met in the port. They weren't all that honorable. Maybe you're right. Much of what seems good and evil is simply a matter of perspective, Ike. Many conditions affect our judgment. Drawing a definitive line is nigh impossible. Nazir, where have you been? You vanished without a trace. I am uncomfortable around dragons. I thought it would be better if I stayed below in my cabin. I, my apologies. Okay, I need to go to bed. Have a good night, and I'll hopefully catch you later. Will do, Shiloh. See you later. Thanks for coming out. Now that you mention it, Soren seems to, seems to have disappeared as well. Have you seen him? Perhaps he's feeling nauseated. For one accustomed to sea travel, it's not uncommon. Unaccustomed. Right. I think I'll I think I'll check up on him later. The wind is packing up, I believe. I will go and check the condition of our sails. Keep yourselves warm up here. It's a chill wind that blows in these waters. Princess Alincia, you should be returning to your captain. What about you, my lord Ike? I'll stay on the deck a while longer. I have a lot to think about. Would you mind if I stayed here with you? It wouldn't be any bother. It's all right by me. Happy to visit and bring some friends. I'm really happy about that. Thank you, Shiloh. I appreciate your support. You and Frosh. And Girl Child Productions, who's just chilling and shit. Thank you for coming out. Oh, thank you. Okay. With that, we have a re uh, pretty much made the three hour 30 mark. So I'm going to save, as I always do. 
because I save state because of power outages, just because I hate power outages and they used to, they always hate me. Um, you should be okay. And Shiloh gifted a sub to Girl Child Productions. Thank you, Shiloh. Are you guys in like a battle, Clarion versus Shiloh? Who gifts more now? Who's the more generous? <coughs> Nevertheless, thank you very much, ev everybody, for coming out today. I'm going to end it off here because I am tired and I need to go to 7-Eleven and get some stuff. Uh, without further ado, thank you, Shiloh, for the follow today. Thank you, Clarion, for the gifted sub to Shiloh and Froche and France. Jesus. Uh, Froge, thank you for the follow. And Shiloh, thank you for the gifted sub to Gold Child Productions.